Okay, so spider guard. What is spider guard? Spider guard is like whenever you have control of the, the sleeves, maybe the beard and the hip, and I start putting my feet inside her arms. Okay, so we can have this type of motion. Um, not my strongest game, but let me tell you something. It's a pain. As long as I don't have to play that, it's hard to get out of that. Okay, and it's, it's can be very tricky. You go through a lot of different things from there. You can the arm from there. Then we can start playing triangles from there. I mean, all kinds of different things can go on. So, what we're going to start off with is putting one foot in the bicep, okay? We're going to take, and we'll put the foot in the bicep. We're going to turn our hips out to the right, okay? Now, I want everybody to do the same side. So, your left foot's going to go in. You're going to curl your toes. You're going to move your hips out to the right. I'm going to post my right foot on the ground. I'm going to use my left foot and my arms. I'm just going to pull her like this. Okay, she's not gonna fall over. If you guys fall over, shame on you, stand back up. Not, not even been swept yet, okay? So you're gonna have some kind of balance. All right, so this is usually what happens if a person steps here. So when they do that, that's when we're gonna throw our leg over for the single leg X. All right, so we're gonna kind of bring her to us to get that. So instead of coming out here and trying to go like this and you're out of, out of the range, out of position, we're gonna try to make her come to us. So I hook. I turn my hips out the direction, so I'm opposite direction of where my hook is at. All right, the foot goes to the ground, I pull, get the step, and then my single leg X comes on the top. Okay, once I'm in that position, I let go of my right hand, and look how my hips can move. Move my hips this way, I move them on the inside, and I slide and grab my inside of the top. So I'm here, okay, the foot is still here. Now, my ankle and my feet pull down. I don't push her, I don't want to push her away. The problem is all of the person's weight is on this left leg. And that's how the guys have been training for a long time. They're gonna be like that. They're gonna get if you get them in the position, they're worried about getting swept, which is what I would be. And they're gonna to try to smash and try to do everything they can do to keep here. So I've gotta make sure that when my grip is on, I keep her everything's in tight. Okay? Now, at that point, once I've gotten her, my heels dug down, my feet are dug down, I take my left foot and I put behind the knee. I take my right foot and I come on top. Okay, this is an X guard position. So you've gone from a single leg X to an X guard. I know that means nothing to some of you guys, but what you need to leave with today is knowing that you're learning how to move your feet in different ways, not just your hands. Okay, so let me kind of back up one step. So this is where we were. All I'm doing is just taking this foot, putting it here, taking this foot and meeting it. All right, so I go one, two, that's it. So one more time. And the right will be on top. So I'm here. Left goes under, right goes here. All right, so now we're in this X guard position. I want to attack this leg, but I can't physically attack it right now because all the weight's there. So I have to make sure I get a sweep, or at least some attempt at a sweep. So I control this, I stretch my legs, and I turn to my side, okay, just like this. And this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna post just like that. All right, so if you remember from a couple weeks ago, we did the ankle lock in here. So my, my elbow is up. I slide down and I pinch the elbow down tight. Okay, at that point, my left foot, my right foot can slide here inside the thigh. I take my left and I put it on top. At that point, I just arch and you have the ankle lock from there. You want to throw the foot over, you don't have to, but you can do it from there as well. Okay, I think it's good to play both because you need to get used to having your feet play in this position. All right, I'm showing this for the guys that are that have seen this. Not, not, don't worry about getting all this today, but the guys that have seen this. We did a sweep from there. Steve, remember the sweep you did from last, last yeah. time? Yeah. We did it with the arm under, not the arm yeah. over. So we don't want to switch. So you want to do the same sweep. You take the foot, we go here, I come up. Move my hips out. Watch how I do it a little different than the other one. I pull this way and I come up here. Now my hands control, then I look my back. Hmm. It was a little bit different than the one you guys saw before where you're going, because you were under the leg. Right? Yeah. yeah, you remember? Yeah. Okay. Let's go back into the game. If you guys still see a record, I don't know any other one too, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'm going to remember this next week. I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright, so... I'll send this to you. Let me, let me get my phone. It's a lot to remember. But I can remember all that. <laughs> Alright, so next week, guys, if I forget it, ask Roger. Yeah. Professor Roger, we'll show you everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, so, here we are. So my feet are on the inside. So, remember, you want to... Have like bird feet, like locked down over top of the bicep, all right? Here, and I want my foot here. Now, as I lift her this way, it's, a, it's with the feet and the hands, just to get the step, all right? Back up one second. Let me show one little detail that I think is good for you guys. It's important to make sure your hips are out to the side. 
If you don't go out to the side and you go here, it can still work, but she may, uh, just look at the when you fall. See how my foot goes like that? That's a bad deal, because now she can start trying to pass to your side. So I don't want that to happen. I want to be more on my side to prevent that. So I'm here, I move my hips out, and then I pull. Now look, it's a lot harder for her to get that foot around, and all I do is throw that foot right there on top. All right, remember, I want my heel down, I want my feet, my left toes to pull down as well. So it's this motion, being heavy in the position. All right, my left foot is gonna hook on the inside, my right foot is gonna come over the top, and my hand is gonna control the collar. Okay, you can do that in anywhere you want. My choice, my, my preference is, once I get this position, I move my hips now and get this first. Okay, I think that's probably the best. Then I can pass and control with my feet. Okay, because I want to make sure I secure this leg. I don't want her leg to pull out of the position. Okay, so now, this leg is heavy. I need to make this leg light. So that's when I control here, and I just stretch the legs. See how I'm turning my side? This is probably going to go to the elbow. And that's fine, all right? If you want to do the ankle lock, so look at my right foot, it slides from here to here. That's why I like the X guard in that position. Then my left foot goes right here next to it, knees together, my arch, and there's my finish. So this in on that leg. Yeah, you have to remember this elbow stays in super tight here, shoulders in. Okay, I can stay here and catch it, or I can go over the top and catch it. Both of them are really good. If I want to go for the sweep, my hook is right here. I leave this foot where it is, I let go with the sleeve, I come up to my elbow. All right, right foot's got a post now. So a post, and I pull this away from her, but I stand up with the sweep this time. Now I control the ankles, not the pants. So I can let go here and control. You can fake one way and go the other way and get the pass.